Hi everyone, so we're staying tonight at Yarrawonga, if I said that right, holiday park here in Victoria. So just for I'll do a drive around. One, because it's a big place. And second, it's very hard to re video record because there's a lot of kids around the place and I don't want to be rude and put kids on here. So first is your reception just here. You probably can't see it in the video, but it's parking here. And more than likely, you're probably going to see Gwen because she's a full-time lady that works here. And she was so friendly, so helpful. A credit to the place. So you've got cabins along here, you've got tables at the front. It looks like they have umbrellas on there, but the covers aren't on at the moment. Maybe it's just something new they've put up, but it looks new. You've got some powered sites for caravans on your right hand side, which they all seem taken on this particular row. And you've got a laundry building there on your left and toilets. Yeah, so like I said, I won't be able to record too much in this place because it's it's quite busy and I just don't want to do the wrong thing. And on the side of the caravan park, you've got um, a football oval, netball courts, and there is a game being played today. I'm not sure who's playing, some local game. We do have a couple of empty sites just here. Pretty big slab of concrete. Okay, you got powered sites on the grass to my right. I think you're allowed to put tents on these particular sites she was telling me. Uh, so as we don't have a caravan, it's a bit hard, harder for me to judge on what people think is a big site. Uh, obviously we've used caravan sites before we've put our trailer on and put a tent up, that sort of stuff. But these sites, to me, they seem okay, they seem big enough. Um, they all seem pretty flat and level, so I can only go by, by that. You don't have any massive trees overhanging them. So I'm guessing that's a good thing, if you don't want to be under any trees. But then I know some people do like the trees for the shade. You've got go-karts for hire. I think Kerry said, it was twenty dollars for an hour and a half, I believe. Now, to your left is a massive kids' playground. Obviously, I'm not going to video in there, but it has been quite busy in there today at times. But it's a jumping pillow. Uh, a really, it's a really good playground for the kids. The kids would absolutely love it in there. And there's a big grass section where they can play games with balls and all that sort of stuff. Let me just put this in. Oops, okay. I wonder if I put the right code in, it might help. Okay, it's got a boom gate. So on your right hand side, I don't know how good you can see. Okay, you got all caravan sites down your right hand side, which are, I suppose, river, river, river view sites. Okay, these sites aren't overly long. So I don't think you'll get a massive caravan on these sides. Maybe a small to medium. But obviously when you book you tell them what size your caravan is, don't you? You've got a kids um, splash park to the left, which is quite big. I'm not sure if that's open because it's winter. And to your left, you can't, you can't see, but that's where the oval is. It's all blocked off with a fence. You can watch the game through the fence if you really wanted to. So you just follow this road down. You've got your, your lake, your Murray River on that side, which is flowing very fast. Just a couple hundred metres up the river, they've got the... Um, the floodgates open and letting all the water through. I was just speaking to a guy who was fishing and he said he hasn't seen it this high in, in an extremely long time. So you've got some powered sites 
along here. They're not massive sites, like maybe like a camper van maybe. That's about all. I'm not sure if you can put tents on there. This way, I guess. So, I just gotta watch these kids. Oh, no one running out in front of me. So, you've got, uh, you got a pool here which has just been finished, and the council have just given the, the, all the all their approvals and all that sort of stuff. So, it'll be uh, they're trying to have it open for the September school holidays. It's quite a big pool and there's a ramp that you can walk into it for those that struggle with the steps. Okay, and to your left, okay, just got some small cabins. Maybe they're just like a, a one bed a one bed thing. Um, just something small. Okay, you got powered sites. Okay, so there's no one down this end. There's one caravan as I went in there, as I come down. I'll turn around in a second, I can show you the powered sites. And across there, it looks like it's a caravan storage yard. I don't know that's got, well, I presume it's got to do with the park, which you can get, you can go inside of it from here. Uh, and all, all this grass, if you can see, to uh, all this grass on this side, it's all got powered on here. And then if I turn around here, okay, or there's no one on any of these. All in front, all this grass here in front of me, it's all got power boxes on. Uh, so none of it's being used at the moment, I'll just turn down. It's a, it's a massive area, a lot of powered sites. Now these ones on your left down here, they're not really too level, but the rest of it seems pretty flat and there's a lot of sites here. All powered sites on both sides here. It's all, it's all flat. There's no massive trees. They're like there's trees here, but they're not ones that are going to really do damage. It's a little bit wet here, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say it's muddy. So there's water taps on each power box. And then straight ahead, I won't go down there because that's the permanence. And you got another toilet block up here which is closed off, so I'm guessing that's because there's no one down here. There's a dump point down this end outside the toilet block too. So with this dump point, you'd have to park out the front here and then just walk over to it. You, you can't park directly out the front. And on the right hand side, which I'll show you in a minute. Now these are villas, I believe. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, so don't quote me, but like these have all got, <laughs> they've got solar panels on some of the roofs. They look quite big, so I'm guessing they could be like a two bedroom, a three bedroom thing or something like that. Um, so I'll just go around here so I can turn around and give you a better look. So that's them all there. So I'll just go back down here that I can show you. So, I, like these look, I imagine these can't be that old. They look fairly new. I'll just go back now. But yeah, I'm not sure. Like any pricing, guys, just check the website because the pricing is going to be so many different prices in this park because they have a wide range of um, accommodation. people fishing 
one guy caught um, quite a big fish, Kevin was saying, like the length of his arm. So there is some people in some of these ones down here. Well, these are all on the river. So you got a nice view sitting outside in your balcony here, patio. You got garbage bins along the way. Uh, yeah, so it's so quite a big place. And these powered sites just to your left here, these are only small sites, like there's a camper van there, you wouldn't get much bigger than a camper van there. And along on the other side of this fence is where the football oval is and the netball courts. Some time ago, it didn't used to be blocked off and then the people used to drive their cars into the actual park to enter there. So you can imagine how much traffic must have came in here. And then they councils put the fence up. So people do water, they water skiing, jet skis. They bring their jet skis. Oh god, I'm, I'm going blank. Um, oh, jet skis. That's the word I'm after. <laughs> So it's quite a big, big place. Oops. So these sites along my left look like they are pretty popular because they are all taken pretty much. The Splash Park. Uh, is a, I'm not sure what's in this building. I uh, will put the map up and show you all. But there's plenty of um, places in there to sit while the kids are playing. You got a big you got the jumping pillow, which I mentioned. It's got the big sail over the top. And you got a, a massive playground in there. It's, it's pretty big. I can't show you because there's kids in there. Okay, I just got to put the code in the gate. There's quite a few people fishing here, and uh, I'd imagine they have to be staying in the park to fish, as far as I understand. And that first section I took you on the video, where I showed you the cabins and the caravan sites, um, opposite side. There's also I can't you can't really see because it, I can't video it because there's quite a few kids around there. Uh, there's a big grass area. And I believe they're all powered sites too. Um, and it looks quite quite nice there. So, now where we're staying is actually before the boom gate, but after reception. So you drive down here. Uh, and there's quite, quite a few um, people fishing here. Uh, get the boat ramp for your jet ski, your boat, whatever. And then to your right, these are called the motel sites, these ones. Uh, straight ahead where the sails are, the orange and blue sails, there's a barbecue there, tables, nice grass, it's really nice there. And on your left hand side, the, the class is a motel, but to me they're just really nice cabins. There's, I don't know, four or five, and one, these ones here are quite big, they've got a washer and dryer in there. Uh, so these are quite big, and the ones on this side, uh, the first one is where we're staying, but you can probably see our trailer. Uh, it's got a little balcony. Kerry did struggle with the steps a little bit because she has got that bad ankle, but it took her a little while, but she got up there. Now in that, in our room, which I will do a video later, it has a, a massive king size bed. To us, it looks bigger than a king size bed. A beautiful shower. Um, there's no cooking in there. As such, there's no hot plates, no stoves, nothing like that. It's just got a bench, a sink, a fridge, um, a long bench. It's got a big, um, uh, really good TV in there. Um, and it's got a concrete slab, which is a big concrete slab. I can fit my car in on there and I can fit the trailer on there. Uh, 
and then the rest of it is dirt in the middle, but everyone's got a concrete slab next to their cabin. So I'm just going to reverse them back to put my car on the slab. Um, so we're only staying here for the one night. Let me just make sure I don't hit my trailer. But yeah, hopefully, um, I know it's a bit long, but if you've gone to the end, guys, thanks for watching.